How many of you are still trading gold or, or are trading gold right now? Type a yes in the room. All right. Or uh, I'm just quick curious to know before I get into this story. Because gold looks like it might be on the run again. All right, looks like gold could be on the run again, but we're going to take a look at it. Gold prices settle higher, and this was on uh, yesterday. Gold prices settle higher than Seesaw as the Fed stands pat on interest rates. So what we this is now piggybacking off of the two stories that I just talked about for the market, um, interest and uh, the trade tariffs. Uh, the Fed stands pat on interest rates, but gold that may or may not be good for gold. Let's scroll down a little bit. Gold prices settled higher Wednesday, supported by uncertainty about international trade policy than seesawed in electronic trading after the Federal Reserve left its benchmark interest rate unchanged as, as, as uh, expected. After the gold futures, uh, futures settled for the session, Fed said it would leave its short-term rates fund um, at the range of 1.5 to 1.75. All right. Now. Let's take a look at gold as a whole. So interest rates are going to have a bearing on gold, right? Let's go take a look in my watch list. All right, let's take a look at all of the stocks that I wanted to take a look at. I'm going to hold off on one. We're going to start with Sabanier Gold. That's number one. We're going to go to Kirkland, which is here. We're going to go to AXU, and then we're going to go to HMY. These are all stocks within the gold industry, some of the ones that are the more popular. Let's analyze them real quick. Remember, especially if you're brand new, there's a lot of ways or very succinct ways that we can analyze a stock in less than 30 seconds to give you better information on the stock. Every stock in our database gets a value, what we feel the stock is currently worth. I can see that Sabanier Gold is trading at $9.26, which is below our value of $13.16. How do we give a value? Well, we look at things like earnings. Remember, earnings is the engine that drives the stock's price higher. So we look at things like earnings. We look at things like earnings growth rate. And when you're looking at the earnings from VectorVest, they are forecasted one year out, 12 months out. Why is that important? Because I want to see where earnings should look at at this time next year. So when I'm looking at the earnings per share on Sabanya, it's at $1.16. We're saying by this time next year, it should be at $1.16. This gives us an understanding as if earnings are rising or falling going into the next year. So first thing, Sabanya Gold's undervalued. Kirkland, undervalued. Right now, there's two gold stocks undervalued. Alexa, um, not Alexa, not the same Alexa you talk to. Hey, Alexa, no, same, wrong thing. This is Alexco Resources, undervalued, and Harmony Gold, undervalued. Now... Let's look at some of the proprietary indicators that separate us from everybody else. RV, the stock's long-term price appreciation potential as compared to a AAA corporate bond, which is an alternative investment. Based, or, uh, based on a scale between zero and two, where above one is favorable, below one is unfavorable. RV on SBGL, or Sabanier Gold, is at 1.41. What we're saying is over the next one to three years, Sabanya Gold should be able to outperform a AAA corporate bond by 41%. Long term, this is a stock that I would want to have in my portfolio. Kirkland Lake at 1.66%. This should outperform a AAA corporate bond by 66% over the next one to three years. Long term, I want this in my portfolio. So right now, all of these stocks have an RV very nicely high above the value of one. It's telling me that long-term gold may not look so bad. Now, even though they're looking good long-term fundamentally, all that means is that there are some bad times to be in good stocks. So fundamentally, up upside potential is there, but if the stock is pulling back or the industry is pulling back, it may not be the right time to be in those stocks. Next, in this, uh, next indicator, relative safety. It's an indicator of how risky the stock is. RS looks at the uh, stock's um, consistency and predictability of financial performance. Does this company meet or exceed earnings quarter over quarter, year over year? So, again, on a scale between zero and two, below one is unfavorable. Sabanye Gold, the safety of the stock is not as good as probably some of the others. Kirkland, though, has a good safety at 1.21. It stands a higher probability of when earnings comes out that this stock should meet or exceed earnings. 
Alexco, below one unfavorable. Harmony, just barely below one um, as far as the safety uh, is concerned. Relative value and relative safety are our fundamental indicators on the stock. Relative timing, that is our technical indicator because technical analysis is based off of two things, price and volume, price and volume. Um, Cliff just bought um, AK Steel. We're going to get into that in a second, Jay. We're going to get to that in a second. All right. What stocks are in an uptrend? Well, gold. Uh, Sabanye is up at 1.81. Stock is definitely moving higher. Kirkland, even though the fundamentals are good on the stock, it's not moving up right now. So this tells me long term, I may not, I, I want to own the stock. Right now is not the right time because the stock is in a downtrend below the value of one. Looking at Alexco, good upside potential. The safety is not there as far as meeting or exceeding earnings, but the price is in an uptrend right now. Harmony, good upside potential. Safety right about that one level, but the stock is in an uptrend right now. Last thing I want to look at is the earnings growth rate. These companies have positive earnings. All right, they all have positive earnings, but I want to see how fast they're growing their earnings. And that's what this GRT is, earnings growth rate. Sabanye is growing their earnings at a clip of 23% a year. Kirkland growing their earnings at 31% a year. Alexco, 38% a year. Harmony, 29% a year. Notice that all of these companies are growing their earnings, but sometimes, especially based on RT, uh, the stock may not be in an uptrend right now. Fundamentally sound like Kirkland, just not moving up right now. Now, one thing, as you may be new to this, if, this, if you like the information that you see here, especially to my new people, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. All right, wanted to take a break and say that for you real quick. Now, all of these are highlighted. We have a buy recommendation on Sabanye, hold on Kirkland, buy on Alexco, and a hold on Harmony. Let's right click, view the stock graphs. Let's take a look at them real quick. 20 day exponential moving average, gonna put them on a three month graph. Sabanye moving up. Today, not the day to buy it. Why? Because I have a red bar, a red uh, candle pointing down today. So today, not a good day, but overall, look at that nice upward trend on Sabanye Gold. Kirkland doesn't look nearly as good as Sabanye did break above that level of the 20-day exponential moving average and broke above a level of resistance today, but pulled back. Not the right day to buy it as well. Man, Alexco, big red bar. That is a dark cloud cover. That was there as well with follow through. Let's see what happens with Alexco tomorrow. Um, big one, Harmony. Again, big down day. So even though these stocks, the only stock that I really, really like out of this group was Sabanye. That is the one that's outpacing all of the other stocks. So this is a good way that even though gold is in the news, to cherry pick down to the ones that look the best in that space. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the software or would like to refresh your information about the software, click on this getting started video right here. Thanks to all of your input, here's a YouTube video that we think would be perfect for you. Click right here. If nothing else, folks, just hit the subscribe button right here.